What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast, and with me today is my buddy Mike. What's up, Christopher? Uh, that's not my name, but that's fine. <laughs> it's just Chris with a K. <laughs> it's you know, it's Christian, right? Is it Sister Christian? Yeah, it's Christian with a K. Only man. time will come. Yeah, am I keeping this in? Why not? Um, anyway, guys, um, <laughs> we're just learning new things about learning each other. things. Yes, my name is Christian with a K. Everybody, in case you didn't know, it's K R I S. I don't think I ever. I don't think I remember. I've that. known. I've known Mike. We've known each other since we were like thirteen or like fourteen years old at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in. And we're in our late thirties. All right, let's just say all that. Right. Um, I didn't know Mike's name was Michael. <laughs> I just thought it was Mike. I just thought it was Mike with a Y at the end. Guys, yes. Jesse isn't here. We're so sorry, but um, his schedule yeah. has changed to a point where he will be unable to record with us. He, he sends his love. He sends his thoughts. And yes. um, But for the next few episodes down the road, uh, in the coming weeks, he won't be on our videos, unfortunately. Uh, so his last appearance you can check out on the live reaction to this very particular season finale of into the badlands and that's what we're talking about this is our last discussion for season two guys uh this was a it was a great season what do you think mike it was a good season you enjoyed it yeah no this this season has been great um it's action-packed with the fighting and this this was a fulfilling um finale for me because just with with the overall um fight between quinn and with Sonny, I was I was excited to see that, and I'm a big reunion guy, so I was glad oh, yeah, yeah. that we got um, the, the 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 veil. And unfortunately, she's she's no longer with us. But it was cool to see the reunion with um, Sonny's new family, um, and the end. That's the burning question now. They left us with a, a good cliffhanger, unlike these Walking Dead cliffhangers that we tend to get. Um, I'm really excited to see who is uh, who the signal is getting uh, sent out to, and and whom is on the other end of uh, Baji Baji's um, alert or his, alert. His, yeah. his beacon, you know, his beacon call there. So, guys, if you don't if you don't know, which is weird if you didn't, but just to give a quick little recap, what actually happened is Sunny faces is the, faces the toughest challenge of his life. And Beji's loyalties are tested. That's all we got. That's it. That's the only. That's the only synopsis we got. Um, I don't understand how Beji's loyalties were, were tested. Uh, I guess with the with the with compass, compass, and yeah, the he had book to. And... I mean, you know, you know, like you said, a lot of things happened. I, I just, you know, I just want to say overall, the season was was had some really great story elements. Like they just, I love, I love where they took it. It, it, it got a little. Uh, iffy at the end there a little wonky towards the end the past few episodes but you know I think this one ended up strong um, y- you know I think we got a lot of I want to say closure in character stuff for some as in deaths and things and then we have some characters who are kind of left so like Lydia she was sentenced to death Sunny saves her and then you know where do, we don't know where she's going to be anymore, right? We don't know what what's yeah. going to happen with her. We haven't seen Jade in like four episodes, right? That's true. Yeah, that's we haven't true. seen she's her still like running four around or five somewhere. Or whatever. So she's well, going to be around. How many people can really are with her? You know how many? No, cops but I mean really... she's going to show up. Don't so you we'll think she'll what... show up? Oh no, I I think she'll show up some you know um in some some form, Way, shape or form. Um, exactly. Yeah. I can see. I can see my little. Um, theory. I was talking with my brother. I was telling you uh, off off uh, camera um, about uh, Badlands, and you know he's a big fan too. So we were talking about Lydia a little bit, and he thinks kind of along with me. I can see Lydia being that like not surrogate, really that the mother for Henry, maybe like that housekeeper kind of a thing. I can I can maybe see um, her uh, helping raise. Um, Henry, okay. not on like a, okay. a physical relationship or anything like that with Sonny, but just as, um, what would you call her? Like a, like a, a nanny. nanny. Yeah. Like a nanny. A nanny. Kind of yeah. I uh, agree with that, man. I think that's, a, I think that's a solid theory, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the one negative that I kind of got from this finale was the fact, and I mentioned it, um, I think during the, the live reaction, how, I was hoping Vale wasn't going to pass because I don't want. I like Sonny the fighter. I understand 
how he's evolved since we first seen him, uh, you know, in, in the first season, how he doesn't like to kill anymore and this and that. But I like that strong character of Sonny. And I don't want I didn't want to see him be like this single father mode, because where is that going to put him? Um, I think uh, it obviously means he had, you know, you, you won't don't fuck with that guy because all he's going to do is protect his son in all costs. But, um, you know, I don't know. How do you feel about that? Do you think that it would be odd to see him just being like this single dad or maybe that Lydia kind of thing happens to fruition? And it's not always about. Uh, just, you know, I don't I don't think he's good. I, I think I think you're kind of hitting a nail on the head with Lydia taking care of yeah. Henry. I don't think he's going to be in that single father mode because I think he's going to go out and look for Beji. He's going to try and rescue MK. I think he's going to be a working dad. He's going to be, I think yeah. he's going to go and do stuff. I don't think they're going to, I think, I think maybe he's going to try and like be a stay at home dad at first, maybe. And then what's well, going to happen is something's okay. coming. Okay. So something's obviously coming. Someone's going to find them. Their whole world is about to open up. Don't forget, we yeah, don't right. know what they know. We for some well, we just assume true. we don't know that Sonny or the Barons or anyone else doesn't know about they okay, so Azra is a thing. We know we know they think Az, Azra is a is a far away made up place. Some do. But we don't know what they don't know about the rest of the world. They saw the wall, although was Sonny surprised when he saw that wall? I believe so. See, the thing right, is, so I maybe just, he I think, doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. I think the the Badlands are just so vast, and these people, the Quins and the Lydias and the Jays well, the and the Riders, they that's all they known. Yeah, so but you I, know, I, I, do you think that? All right, so let me ask you this: Do you think that those characters have been out of the Badlands, or they've just heard um, what potentially could be past this wall, or? What do you think? Because I honestly don't think that the the Quinn characters and these kind of things maybe um, ha- ever been beyond and out of the Badlands. I think I think because we know the Badlands to be a very specific. We were out of the Badlands in the no, beginning of not, the season. Well, of course, but Baji we know. Obviously, Baji knows something. No, he no, knows no, how to use this book, I'm, but he's been out of that. right. Well, what I'm saying, no, but that's where we started. They were out of the Badlands. And then he went back into the Badlands to get to Quinn and yes. his and, and Vale and Henry. So yeah. I think there are characters that do know in either have been or do know about outside. Be, you know, Beji obviously being one of them. I think some of the Barons may know. I actually think Waldo has I think Waldo probably knows. I feel like no. if, it, if anyone would know, Waldo would know. Um so yeah, I definitely think that we're gonna see that there are characters that we know of that that already know about that. But that leads to the question like, what the hell is out there? You know, are there other societies? Are there yeah. other areas that are that they consider badlands or or similar situations? That wall is sure. encompassing the badlands, right? How yeah. big is the badlands? Like it's. It has to be really – I mean, listen, I agree with you. I, I believe that these – you know, the characters that we've encountered on the show know that there there is something more than just the Badlands. Yeah. But I don't think that they necessarily have been out of it. You know, right. I don't think Quinn has been where Baji and Sonny were beforehand or Lydia or Ryder or any of these guys. Yeah. Uh, vale even. You know what I mean? Of course, there's there has to be – um, there has to be something more, and I, I assume that these characters knew that there's something other than just the Badlands, but, um, you know, they haven't been out of there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I don't so, think... Yeah, I don't, we don't yeah, know. I, I don't yeah. think they've been out of there. I agree with you. I we don't, don't I don't think... Yeah, I don't think they've been out of there. Um, yeah. But, you know, the next, you know, they're, they're, they're approved. <laughs> they're, they're coming back for a third season with 16 episodes, at, at least right now. Sweet. They just they ordered a sixteen episode season, so that's going to be pretty crazy. That that's that's yeah, that's great. You know, six more than we got now, which is maybe, I, they'll, I, do, maybe they'll do like a split, an eight and eight kind of a thing. Oh, probably uh, at like, this point. At this point, like fear, yeah, the AMC yeah. loves their freaking mid season breaks. But what yeah. I'm afraid of with that is, I hope there's not. I hope there's no filler. Like this season, like <laughs> this moved. Like it was. There weren't. There weren't. We we weren't finding ourselves saying wow this is a real boring episode there was always something yeah. in every episode unlike the walking dead where we have a lot of filler episodes where we're like eh, we could have done without that one mm-hmm. but 
this show, like they pushed, and that's what that was one of my critiques consistently throughout the season was yeah. that they've been they pushed this story they just like they just gave it to you pushed it moved things did things you know moving and shaking so i'm just a little worried that with 16 episodes like i don't necessarily need that many more episodes if it's going to be a detriment well, i mean i mean like you said now that um you know if if we are now going to see more of the world and explore more of the expanse and okay it would be nice know, to see more put, character yeah that's more true. into 16 episodes hopefully because dude like you said they've they gave us 10 solid episodes yeah you know so let's you know let's see uh let's see what happens what happens then but i'm assuming we're still gonna have to wait till next year and that they're not going to start maybe um you know they're not going to start in the end of the year or anything the first eight or something like that so no probably it'll be you know it'll be yeah it'll yeah i mean Although well, they might bump up the schedule, considering it's sixteen, and they want it to end around the same time. They yeah. listen. They're gonna probably want it to end around June because of uh, Fear of the Walking Dead and yeah. Preacher. Yeah. So, you know, they're, so they're running. They're running Badlands and The Walking Dead, neck and neck, and then they're gonna run Preacher. Their summer shows are Fear of the Walking Dead and Preacher. You know, yeah. and and Better Call Saul. Like th- those are all summer shows. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plus, they've got yep. the new one, the Sun. They, I mean, they, you know, look, AMC is doing a doing a great job. They, they, they're. T- I mean, they've become one of the top, you know, networks. Yeah. Man. Um, but I mean, you know, let's jump back into the episode uh, real quick. And um, there were some really, really interesting uh, fight scenes. Uh, we got a lot. We got flaming arrows to, to you know, in, you know, but okay. If you, if you guys saw the live reaction, you'll see some of our comments were like, wait, what? What is that? You know, um, this show got more like as if it already wasn't more and more comic booky, which is which is not a, a negative critique in my book at all. Mm-hmm. It was it's just it mean it was just awesome. It was just like, yes, like, you know, like Jesse's famous for saying, you know, doing it for the sake of doing it. You know what I mean? Convenience yeah. for convenience sake. Like that was just do it. Have something happen so they can be there. Yep. Get that thing so they could have that thing, you know. Have the rubble fall on him just so Beji can come and get him. You know, he gets shot in the chest. He's, you know, with an arrow, flaming arrow. He's fine. And his I, leg, I, right? His leg is his. Chest. I assume he had body just armor though. I, I assume those out, things are yeah. padded. But I mean, but I enjoy all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, and I and I and I don't think that's a detriment. There was some silly, wonky things, uh, decision wise, like story wise. Like, why did why did he uh. decide to do this? Or why did you know, Quinn decided to do that, but like I said, it it the 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 final fight scene, like you know, specifically. Okay, so Quinn gets f- like run through twice, fully twice with yeah. with a sword that's got a head that I don't need, what a four like like twelve inches, like a like eight whatever yeah. broad head that it's a big that, ass sword. <laughs> not only that, it's got those chest. damn rings on them. Yep. And that went yeah. fully through him like twice. Yet yeah. Beji gets stabbed with scissors and is expecting to die. And he got yeah. stabbed in his like in the fat of his stomach. Like yeah. there's a lot of meat there. I'd be surprised if that even made it to inside. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that he's a fat bastard, but he's a he's a big man he and there's a panic. lot of you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So no, I, I some of those things were just some of those decisions were just little. Mikey, what did you think about that last fight scene, though? I mean, I mean, I I, I agree with you. There was some some moments where we're like fuck, fuck. But I'm oh, I'm always like that. I'm always like <laughs> yeah. you know, it's always like all right. So you you know you think that Quinn is defeated. You throw your sword down. You run over to oh yeah, like that shit. Yeah, and, and, and they, they did it. And they did it. Yep, they did it. Yep. And they then did the uh, whole. He, he gets up and he and he goes to see where Baji was and he, that's when we noticed that Baji was actually gone. But of course, what happens <sighs> in that whole time when his back is turned is, of course, um, excuse me, uh, Quinn pops up and grabs Vale. And this it's is the where... same trope. That's why. That's why I gave the story a four this time in the review. Yeah. I didn't give it yeah. like a like Jesse gave it like a five. I think like they they just did this they've they've done the thing the same tropes you know that not only have they done it before in the show but they've done, it's been done and i would have liked to see a little bit more from that but whatever it was what it was it, it was, was still a great it was still a great fucking it, fight scene. it was a great fight i like the, the i like where it took place i like that they fought through the rubble again i mentioned yeah. it in live reaction i wish they would have done a little better sound design though 
like they would have put like a rumbling or like debris coming down like yeah. make it a little more like they're jump dude they're jumping on pylons and broken debris and like nothing's hap like nothing's crumbling like, I mean, not that i know maybe i was too entranced and i didn't notice it but like you know what i'm saying like they're like anyway oh, the, i i understand but i, I mean understand. how about how about veil's like self-sacrifice like i didn't did That's... that really need to happen was that was that really a thing that had to happen like she couldn't duck down like you had you had mentioned it too in, in the i mentioned react. well like, she had remember she had the sigh he was holding the sigh up against her chest so she just pushed pushed it on through yeah you know if there was a way that she could i mean i guess it would have been difficult for Vale to actually grab his arm and do one of these or or get the sigh from him somehow to do that but i guess um you know she just sacrificed herself like she was potentially going to do a couple times uh during like the wedding scene she was going to kill herself and lydia said don't do this or she was going to attack Yo, that, yeah that that you bitch know? is just ready to die man yeah <laughs> like, so she, she just was ready she was ready, ready to just i mean get, get, be done man it was it was, was um That's it was bittersweet you know because obviously he didn't get to spend a lot of time with her lately and recently um and of course with henry also they didn't have that family um time at all so it's um it's unfortunate that that she's passed but um you know the fight did its justice and like we mentioned a little, a little uh earlier um let's see what happens let's see if this whole lydia kind of taking care of thing happens because listen if sunny is to meet back up with baji if he's still gonna have to remember mk let's not forget mk let's talk about him now mk is is with the widow still right Baji escaped. Tilda escaped. Um, obviously, they were they were imprisoned by the widow, and Odessa sets them free. But MK is still now alone with her. MK had these these um, scenes with the widow, and he was saying, "Listen, I know you're bullshitting me. Um, you know, uh, you you just just l kind of let me go." And she's like, "I'm. You're not going anywhere. I don't care what you say. You're staying here." And she wants to use him as a weapon. I think she just sees how powerful he can be. Um, now the problem is she gave the widow gave Baji, <laughs> she the, gave book. Baji the book. So now with Baji having this book and now, uh, since, since he's gone, um, that leaves the widow in a precarious position because now it's just her and MK and I can see Sonny, um, going after him or maybe Sonny and Baji meeting up again or who knows, maybe Tilda will be, um, will be uh, healed, and, and they'll go after MK. I think I can see that um, pictured for season three, probably right off the bat, let's get MK back kind of a thing. So for my point, um, uh, I, that's why I can see someone needs to take care of Henry. Henry is not going to be with Sonny when he's that's going to That's what I'm saying. This. Yeah, man, that's exactly what I'm saying too, yeah. dude. I think, I think yeah. Henry, I think, yes, I think that someone's going to, he's going to end up leaving Henry with somebody um maybe tilda and odessa like yeah i guess we don't unless we, unless know, she's gonna know. go back she's not going back anytime soon tilda so okay let's talk about tilda for one second and that's she now knows that the widow is not who she thought she was yeah. and so that's a real rude awakening for tilda mm -hmm. um it's all she's known yeah you know? so but it's you know she's, she's got a girlfriend now so good for her well you know? that's true let's see let's see you know the the cool thing is where is everybody gonna go yeah. Um, you know, where is Tilda and Odessa going to go? Uh, where is, you know, where the fuck is Baji? Where is this place that he sent this signal from? So, uh, how mean, far was he, was he riding the motorcycle? Obviously he mean? wasn't, he couldn't, I don't look, I don't think he could have gotten that far. He was bleeding out, so to speak. Is he That's coming true. back? Do you think he's going to come back? I you think know? so. So he used the compass. So obviously he knew some shit. All yeah. right. And he used the compass to the first of all i didn't know that book had a hole in it that he could place the compass in apparently yeah. it did yeah. so he he puts that in he just he figures out the code which was completely like out of left field he all has of to that know it. he knew all it. of that you know what i mean but he using the book this using this yeah so so all of that was out of left field he yep. he, he calls up somebody now I, jesse jesse has a um a, a a theory, yeah, like yeah. you know, he he had a theory that um, a theory. 
that the signal w was that all is lost, send help. And, I, um, and unfortunately, he's not here to back that up. I'm not sure where he got that from. Uh, but if that is a theory of where that came from, you know, it just means that Baji knows of an outside community or or um, society that he has been contacted. He says the word Azra as he kind of, yeah. as it ends. Yeah. So what is Azra? Is Azra just one of many? Is it, you know? I don't know. I mean, I don't think that, I don't think that we're going to see many. You know what I mean? I don't think there's going to be many um, of these so-called Azra, Azras or anything like that. I can see Azra being maybe this huge, um, area in itself, but I don't think that we're going to have, I don't think it's going to open too vast that way. I think that this season, uh, the, the upcoming season, season three will be focused on just Azra as a place that they're going to go okay. that, or potentially going to go or, um, you know, just, just getting into Baji's brain and finding out how he knows all this is going to be interesting in itself. Yeah, I mean, I think you know I, I think I, mean? I think Beiji's gonna be back. I think he'll be back. Oh, I think I, he's gonna I, meet up know, with Sonny. I think, I think so it's, too. I think he did real well in this. Um, yeah. I said in the review, I think I like I like the character they made him. How he's like this kind of a cocky. You know, he got more. We got to see him more in his element as an abbot. Yeah. Once we found that he was an abbot, we see he's got this, you know, but he's he's different than the other abbots because he's not really an abbot anymore, but he's got some skill. I enjoyed it, man. I, I really enjoyed Nick Frost. I was like, you know, I don't know how they're going to make him seem like whatever, but no, it was great, man. It was, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I, I his character. Um, I mean, overall, I think we should start wrapping this up, but I mean, yeah. I think overall, I, I just, I love this season. This was a fun, it was a fun season. A lot of, we had a lot of good laughs on the live reactions, you know? Yeah. Um, a lot of silly stuff went down. Um, you know, for a show that's on network television, they, you know, and I don't know what their budget is, but I assume it's, it's decent, but yeah. they've done some great fight choreography, some great, like special effects. Uh, some of it a little wonky. Uh, you had mentioned me off camera, how the widow, when she's fighting in those heels, sometimes she shots, so she's not wearing the heels. <laughs> Obviously it's a stunt double. There was the, the one early on where the spear was supposed, you know, this guy gets speared through with the, at that wedding, but there's no, yeah. when, when you slow it down and you look one, there's no spearhead. It's just a flat pole, a rounded pole. And then two, he moves before the pole actually hits him. So, I mean, there's some, there's some wonky yeah. stuff here and there, but overall, like what a, oh, what I think a they great, saved a you know? lot. I think they saved a lot of the budget. And I mentioned this, I think from the last episode, it was their Shiva, these last couple, yeah, yeah, it was the Shiva moment. Yeah. Um, but I can see that they they put a little bit more into these last couple and these yeah. last few with the fighting. And I don't really think we got any like cheesy um, like wire wiry moves using the wires and doing these flips. It looked everything looked like it was much more smooth. Um, listen, got, like, this show. Yeah, this show compared to some to a lot of other series, this show is really action. First, focus. You know yeah, what I mean? It's a very focused. It's yeah. it's a martial arts, you know, um, show. You know, a big part of it is the action, is and it's the fighting. So you better get that right, and I think yeah. that they do a good job with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. Are there any uh, final thoughts? I think I think we, you know, I mean, I, you know, you guys obviously, you know, whatever whatever you guys are thinking, please let us know. Obviously, yeah. whatever theories you've heard, what you guys thought of this this finale. Um, by all means, I'm trying to see. Was there anything else? Uh, Sonny got his bike back, and then Beijing yeah. took it. I think we, I think we talk. I think we talk pretty much. Quinn's death. It's gonna Quinn's suck death. to see him go, man. I was actually just quick. I was kind of surprised. Um, I mentioned this before. Um, how um, will we see him? I think I posed this question to you guys. Will he die? I honestly didn't expect him to die. Yeah. I expected him, and I even mentioned this during this episode, during the live reaction. Well, all right, so he's on the ground. The place is going to collapse, mm -hmm. and they're going to escape. He's going to get uh, out. And, and then Quinn yeah. somehow, we, we'll never get that definitive, you're dead kind of a thing. And we did get that, so I was surprised. I was expecting it to be one of those Skeletor He-Man things, like, I'll get you next time, He-Man, yeah. kind of thing. 
and um, it would leave off, so we would we would uh, eventually see him again. But um, yeah, he's you know we I think we he's gotta all be rave dead, about dude. You're oh, not ta- you're not no, yeah, you're not dead. taking two so no, and then dead. and then a side of the throat. Come on, man. He was laying there in a pool of blood. Yeah. Like, so yeah. No. I think I, I you know I'm glad I'm I'm glad that's what they did. I mean that was a bold move. Yeah, it was like do it like fucking do it, man. They killed Vale. And yeah. and they killed him and I'm like just you gotta do it you gotta take some people out you can't just have like small parts be taken away you got it you gotta push things forward yeah. so these okay. next the next season you know it's gonna be a completely different ball game the villains aren't gonna be the same in fact um aren't all the barons dead they said in Except this episode Chow well Chow right but basically all of the, the Badlands the is done. Like the Badlands is just done at this point. That's you know, hey, you know, enough another you just spark something. Now, where where will Sonny go? Where will Sonny raise Henry? Will he take up I can see him taking the old Quinn's old mansion because I didn't even think in the beginning, um, no one ever took it. You know? No, that was left yeah, it was left. It was he left went over there. yeah, the he went over to uh, yeah. One of the other yeah, Ryder took Ryder over. Ryder took over uh, uh um, what's the other guy? Jack the Abby. other Jacoby's mansion. Yeah. So there's we have several of these mansions still laying around. So let's see. I mean, it would be interesting to see um, where these guys pick up residence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so so I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys are. Um, so we're gonna end it here. We want to thank you guys for um, a wonderful, yeah. lovely, action-packed season. I want to thank you guys for all of the comments and the support that you guys have been showing us. And we really enjoyed that you guys enjoyed this show. You enjoyed us doing it. We can't wait to come back and do it again. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess that's going to do it. Mikey, where can they get to us if they wanted to uh, talk to us well, other than the comments? Down other below? than the com- other yeah. than the comments down below, you can also find us at Third Person Pod on Instagram. Uh, check it out. We always post some cool stuff on there. We also post when we put our videos up um, on on YouTube. Uh, don't forget Facebook. You, that's a great place, great platform for you guys to write us, um, ask us any kind of questions you'd yep. like. Yep. And of course, on iTunes, you can listen to us there, and uh, you know, even write a little review there and let us know how we're doing. That'd be great. Hey, you know, we have a Snapchat too. I mean, we don't that. really, we don't really post. We should post. I don't know why we don't post to it. I don't know. We should. We should do it. Maybe, Maybe we'll, we'll get do into some more snapping. Bit. I don't know if you guys use. Snapchat. Let us know if you. Yeah. Let us. I don't know, know if you guys use Snapchat a lot. It's weird. It's just a weird platform. Um. Those so, yeah. young kids use that damn Snapchat. I know. Um. So guys, uh, if you haven't already, go check out the live reaction and the review to fin to round off our trio of videos. Um. And as always, if you wanted to get yourself some unlimited comics for a drastically discounted price you could get three months of comics for just three dollars it's a dollar a month for your first three months unlimited comics just go to comicblitz.com enter the promo code the person pod and uh lastly if you guys want to uh check out uh, my new podcast called retro squat you can check out retrosquat.com you can get all the episodes over there we got about 10 episodes the 11th episode is going to be going up the week that this video comes out uh, but go check it out. It's a fun, it's a fun, cool uh, retro podcast. Uh, well, that's all I'm going to say about it. Guys, once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, so um, for Jesse, we're going to sign off. Sorry he's not here, but uh, he's he's with you guys in spirit, and he, I'm sure he'll see you guys in the comments, and he'll get to you guys there. Um, and Mikey, good stuff, man. We went. Yes, we're, sir. We got to. We're getting out of the Badlands. Oh, it's uh, bittersweet. We spent ten weeks in the Badlands, <laughs> and now we got to get out. So. <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to be on to fear. So if you guys are big fans of fear, of the walking dead, definitely keep, uh, keep with us. And, uh, don't forget leftovers. What do we have? Three more three, leftovers. Three leftovers. As of right now, we haven't yep. pumped out the other video yet, but yeah, there's so two, three or two coming out. Um, and then after leftovers, like you said, the fear. And then, um, you know, mm. we might be doing preacher too, guys, because preacher's- maybe, yeah, we might be adding that to the roster not exactly sure, but but Game of Thrones is coming, guys. We got a couple months to Game of Thrones. A couple so, months, yep. Um, we're getting there. Guys, once again, thank you very much. We will see you next time on Third Person. So peace out. Peace.